Hi guys, welcome to MRK Tutorials. In this video, we will see few things which are to be learned exactly at this point of time. That is, after watching the videos on primitive type versus reference type, null versus undefined, and difference between equal to and strict equal to. Because in this video, we are going to learn about the what is variable and what is scope. What are the keywords used to declare variables? And also, we are going to look at the drawback of using var keyword along with coding in the online editor. By the way, if you have not watched the previous videos, please do watch them. And the links are mentioned in the description below. Let's get started. Suppose I have a box of files of all important documents like that on the screen. And one day I wanted to get some file from that box like health card for some emergency health purpose. Then what I will do? I will be looking each file and taking the health card out and put all other files back into the box. Suppose I got similar situation for other document after a few days. Again the process repeats. Suppose I was in an office or somewhere else and I want someone in the home to look at the file in that box for urgent purpose. Then they will be struggling more than as to find those files. Suppose I have named those files accordingly with neat and clear names. Then it will be easier for me to take file easily. And also it helps others to understand easily, right? So similarly, variables in the code are also names of the storage of the data. And these names are to be clean and clear. So not only us, everyone who look at the code can easily understand them. In JavaScript, where is keyword used to declare variable? And after 2015, let and const are also added along with the where keyword to declare variable in ES6. If there is a where keyword, why did we need let and const for declaring variables? To answer this question, let's understand what is scope and what are drawbacks using where keyword in real life programming. Before understanding that, we will be analyzing a code snippet. In this code snippet, we have where x equal to 100. Then compiler will, while reading this line, allocate some memory with the type integer as we discussed in the video primitive type versus reference type. Similarly, next two lines, it allocates memory for y as string type and z as float type. Now that we understood what is variable and keywords used to declare it. Let's understand what are the rules naming that variable in the JavaScript. JavaScript gives good flexibility to developers, but there are few rules that are to be followed for sure. Or else JavaScript compiler cannot understand clearly what we are trying to convey and throws an error. So these are the rules for naming variable. Variable names cannot contain spaces. Variable names must begin with a letter, an end, underscore, or a dollar symbol. Variable names can only contain letters, numbers, underscores, or dollar signs. Variable names are case sensitive. Certain words may not be used as variable names because they have other meanings within the JavaScript. Check out the complete list of reserved keywords I mentioned in the description below. Let's see these rules in the JavaScript online editor.
we are in the important concept of javascript which is most essential concept for every developer that is scope i personally think understanding concept of scope improves speed efficiency and usability of the code so what is scope scope is a like policy that says this part of code can use only this variables so like scope in javascript defines accessibility of variables objects and functions one advantage is that scope provides some level of security to your code javascript is a function oriented language variables defined inside a function are in the local scope while variables defined outside the function are in global scope as i said understanding scope will make your code stand out reduce errors and help you make powerful design patterns with it simply the scope is a policy that manages the accessibility of variables in the code in javascript language there are two types of scopes global scope local scope global scope is scope with high accessibility and it can be reached from any part of the code there will be only one global scope let's understand it with a code snippet here we can see our channel name is accessed not only from outside function but also from inside function that is not because our channel is getting popular day by day but because it is declared as global scope variable and if we see local scope local scope is a scope within a block or a function and there will be many such blocks in the code so many local scopes are present in code variable in one local scope can be used in another one also let's understand it with a code snippet So what is wrong with where keyboard why are we not using it now why did let and const got introduced in es6 let's understand it with a co simple code snippet first
Here, a variable a is declared three times with the where keyword. Outside the function, inside the function and inside if code block two. But let's talk about two where declarations inside the function. The variable is initially assigned with 100 and later changed to 200. We can see that in the console. So when we use where in the function scope, if we are using same name in the same function to declare again and again using where keyword, where keyword changes only the first declared variable with the same name and the outside variables are not changed because this function has no impact on them once they got declared with the where keyword inside the function as they become new variables. Suppose I am writing a huge function and I forgot I used variable before and used it again. My entire code behaves wrong and JavaScript is now not throwing any errors. It will take time for debugging. So that is the reason why let and const are got introduced in the ES6. Let is used to declare variable which can be accessed or changed within block scope and const declares constant which only can be accessed in the block scope. And by the way, how are variables and scope are related in other way? We can see that once scope completes, variable is destroyed and we cannot access it or change it. So lifetime of variable is nothing but scope of the variable. In front end, global scope is deleted when window is closed or tabs related to that location address are closed. I hope you understood what is variable, what is scope and what are the drawbacks of using where and why are let const are introduced in ES6. I hope in between the codes are also helpful for un better understanding. In next video, we will be learning differences between const, let and var with small table clearly. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe and share to your friends. Thank you.